We do it to see what pressure is in her ears to start with. And we have her swallow. What we're seeing today is a pressure chamber. This pressure chamber is like walking into a little submarine and you walk in the submarine and this pressure can be altered to mimic, again, going up and down a mountain or going up the U.S. Steel Building and coming down the elevator. We're trying to see how easy it is to open her station to just pass it. So she's not trying, we're trying, we don't want her to swallow. Everybody's had popping and snapping when you go up and down airplanes or you go in a car. That's the station tube functioning to get air in your middle ear. The beauty of the pressure chamber is that we can test function in a normal ear or one with fluid in the ear, but mainly a normal ear that has problems in equalizing pressure. The testing that we do in the pressure chamber involve basically what we do is we try and stress the Eustachian, the eustachian tube a little bit, and the way we do that is we apply a pressure to the middle, to the middle ear, and to the and actually to the entire body by being in the pressure chamber, or uh, decrease the pressure around the person, and then ask them to swallow. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the um, put the microphones in their her ears, cover them up with the earmuffs, and then put sound in her nose. And you'll see the changes in the, in the uh, sound levels on, on, on the screen. And that can tell us a lot about the function of the eustachian tube and its relationship to the middle ear. Because middle ear disease in children and adults is primarily due to eustachian tube dysfunction. It doesn't work right. So what we're trying to do is to finalize what we think is, going, is wrong in, in people's eustachian tube function. We want to actually try and help those people. So we'd like to re recruit patients that have ear troubles, we discussed, but we want to be able to test patients that have no ear trouble because we have to have normal data. In other words, since this is a new uh, instrument that's just been perfected within the last three or four years, that we need volunteers to get testing of normal patients at different age groups so we know what's normal to compare it against abnormal.